Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a big head, quick meal. Man, I look rough, don't I? Well, whatever. But look, I gotta make my food for the rest of the week. So we're gonna do something quick and easy. You can come right home. It's about three o'clock in the morning right now. And uh, like I said, you can come right home and just get this done. Uh, it really doesn't take that long. We're gonna do some uh, seafood rice with some broccoli. And we're gonna do some quick sesame chicken uh, in the oven and broil, all right? Let's get into it. All right, guys, these are the greens that you're gonna need. We got some washed rice. We got some jumbo shrimp that I already cut up along with some scallops. We have our chicken. Um, these are leg quarters. I did cut these up, uh, separating the thigh from the uh, drumstick. Uh, it's marinated. I did this actually before I went to work today, but this is actually marinated in uh, cooking wine, uh, a cup of uh, maple syrup, a cup of sugar, uh, salt, pepper, and uh, soy sauce. All right, and some sesame seed oil. All right, and we just got our pan lined with some onion. This is really simple, and we have some onion already cut up. All right, so we're gonna get into this. It's gonna be really nice, really simple, and it's gonna taste great. All right, so let's put our chicken in our pan. Oh man, it smells amazing. It looks great. I'm gonna just lay it down. I don't have to get too fancy here. Just lay your chicken on down. All right, so I did learn this from a chef. I actually was volunteering at this uh, shelter um, just to try to give back. And uh, we actually were making a similar type of chicken. And what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take some of our marinade and I'm gonna pour it into our pan. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna add some moisture to our chicken. We're gonna go ahead and cover this so that we can keep that moisture in. And once we finish cooking, we're gonna pour this off and we're gonna actually put it in the broiler to get a nice crispy skin. So now that our prep is done, let's turn up the heat. All right, we got this bad boy covered. Time to put her in the oven. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 35 minutes. Woo, that oven hot there. All right, let's work on our rice. Uh, we got our pan heating up. We got some onions. We're gonna add these to our pan. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna saute these until they become fragrant. And once they do, we'll add in our rice. And this will be a good time to season. I'm gonna keep mine simple. You know, we use the KISS method. I'm um, just gonna do some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and uh, some Old Bay. And that's gonna be it for our seafood rice. All right, so we got two cups of uh, rice and we got four cups of water. So we're gonna go ahead and add our rice to our water. And uh, we're gonna let this come up to a boil, stirring occasionally. Season up your seafood. You don't have to go too hard on this. Just some Old Bay, salt and pepper, and uh, we're gonna put this in the fridge. And uh, when we're ready to go, when our rice has cooked for maybe, we wanna lose about half its liquid, we're we'll gonna go ahead and add in our uh, broccoli and we're gonna add in our seafood, all right? So now that our liquid has reduced, let's add in our seafood. All right, I'm gonna give this a good stir. All right, it's been 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just take this out. Oh, that heat. We're gonna take the aluminum for you off and we're gonna bake it for another 20 minutes before we add it to the broiler, okay? All right, looking good, looking good. 20 more minutes. 400 degrees. Woo, smelling good. Our seafood rice is nearly done. Keep in mind, guys, it's only been about maybe 20 or so minutes. All right, and once this is done, we're gonna be done. We're just gonna cook our broccoli and put our chicken in the broil, and that's it. Maybe about 45 minutes, this whole meal will be complete. All right, guys, it's been 40 minutes on 400 degrees. Ooh, wee! Look at our chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the juice off of this and uh, we'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. <laughs> All right, so I poured the water off. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the broiler for maybe about two to three minutes. That's probably all the time you're gonna need. Woo wee! Here we go, fresh out of the broiler. We got that nice crispy skin that we like. Hear that? All right, so let's pour some honey on these and brush it in. Then we're gonna add some sesame seeds, okay? This is a uh, 
new buck honey. I'm sorry, this is buckwheat honey. It's thick. It's a little darker than your regular honey. And it has a wonderful flavor. It comes highly big head recommended. All right, guys. So I bought our Stanley steamer. Uh, we got our broccoli steamer in here. Some frozen broccoli. I'm going to steam that for about five minutes or so. And uh, our chicken is done, man. I put it back in the oven for about 30 seconds. I thought I put the sesame seeds on it, but... Uh, you know, we're going to go in in a minute, so we're almost done. Uh, it's been about an hour, maybe, and uh, we're almost ready to eat. Woo! Guys, we got out of the kitchen today. You know, another day, another meal. It wouldn't be right not to thank the man upstairs, so we thank you. But now, it's time for the big reveal in three, two, one. Oh, yeah. There we go, baby. We got our sesame chicken, we got our seafood rice, and we got our broccoli with some simple salt. All right, guys, let's give it a try. Start with our seafood rice. Mmm. Mmm. It's really delicious. Um, it's not over seasoned. The seafood really rings through. Um, you know, if you really like that that uh, that uh, shrimp scallop type of taste, this is what you need to try. Broccoli can't go wrong. Simple steam broccoli with salt. Mmm. Always a winner. Easy winner. All right. Let's try this chicken. Mmm. You hear that? Can y'all hear that? Mmm. All right. Cut right into this bad boy. Cut right into it. It's done. See that? Can you guys see that? It's all done. It's cooked. Let's give it a taste. I'm looking for kind of a sweet taste. You know, sesame chicken is kind of sweet. So let's give it a, it's a nice size bite. Mmm. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Yo. Guys, try this recipe. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you right now. Make you want to slap your mom. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, it's time to go. It's like four. 4.30 in the morning, you know, I'm kind of tired, I gotta be to work, but hey, you know what to do, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, get down in the kitchen.